Joe. Thank you for sliding. What's good, bro? How you doing? I'm exceptionally well. Yeah. You know? I know we had a um, I know we had a uh, we were supposed to do this I think a few months ago. It's a fact. Hold on, can we get some quiet in the studio though? Yeah, we hey, yo, we started the pod. We started the pod. What y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, well, <I'll... laughs> let, let, let's let them get it out there, system first. Yeah. We kind of deep in the studio right now. Yes. Um, I think we were supposed to kind of do this, I want to say a few months ago. Yeah, for sure. I think you had moved. Then we really set it up for, I want to say, in December. Uh -huh. But now you're just in town randomly. You know. Maybe we can start there. What are you doing in town? Divine timing, man. I was I was on my way to Atlanta. Yeah, um, I missed my flight on some funny shit. Like, I mean, it really was not funny at all, but <laughs> yeah, I missed my flight. And um, I got booked to do like a photo shoot out here on Sunday. So shout out them folks. So it was like divine timing. I was yeah. like, you know what I mean? Might as well. well, you were just like late to the airport or something? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a good idea to get a nap. Before that. Were you about to go meet with your sister in Atlanta? Yeah, 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 meet with my folks. Because I'm supposed to go out um, D.C. soon and shit. So I was gonna link them. Just go to DC, link my family and shit. Uh, what's in uh, D oh, is, is fam in DC? Yeah, man. Uh, long live pops. Yeah, 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 I just lost my pops and shit, man. Yeah. Just going out there. Yeah, yeah. Hear that, bro. Love, bro. Love, man. Another angel. That's it. That's it, dog. How you been? How you been dealing with that? Man, staying busy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like, like how long ago was it? Like oh, what? Like a week or like a week ago. It's fresh. Oh shit, man. Yeah, man. It's a fresh one. I feel like you probably didn't even really have time to really even. You still going through it, like you in the. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's active. It's for sure active, but you know we. We here, man. You know, yeah, sure, you know sure. what I'm saying? Got to, got to go harder for him. That's it. Uh, like being creative and doing this shit, like makes you fucking cope with it or helps you. Oh, one hundred percent. Feel better. One hundred percent. But what? I've been locking the fuck in. For real, for real. Hey. Yeah. I seen you just did the fucking uh, on the radar shit. Yee! That was hard. First of all, bro, I want to ask you this before we can get into that, but were you actually rapping on there, like on the mic? Yes, sir. Live up. I love that. Live you snap. Because most people that go up there, they, they kind of have their songs. Yeah. And they just, it's cool for some people. It's hard and shit. Right. But I like to see that real live. Like, yeah, bro. You know I, I, yeah, I appreciated that too. Like, it, it brought something different to it. Like, it really pulled that shit out of me. Because at first, I wanted to do, I ain't going to lie. I was like, thinking about, yo, I'm going to do Take the Charge and all that shit. But then, I noticed like motherfuckers that be performing songs that's already out, like they changed the light and I wanted that green that like, you know, the, I wanted the, the official on the radar feel, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause yeah. I, was, I was supposed to fuck with them when um we was all out at Atlanta, but it happened like it went it was supposed to. I wanted to like, I wanted the whole shebang I mean, in, in New York. Oh, so in New York, so I didn't light, know that. Yeah. The whole shit, you know what I mean? Shout out Gabe. That shit was hard. Yeah. How'd you like how'd you link with them? Mm -hmm. Just um through through my manager, um Glenn. Shout out Glenn. You know, they real they real tight and shit. And uh yeah, we have been talking about it for like months and shit, but just then like putting no date on it. But when it was time, it was time. Like that shit was you know what I mean? Yeah. It was fire. You did that shit be honest, you did it in one take or you did multiple takes? Multiple takes for sure. Really? I am not gonna hold you. Come on. Multiple takes, hell yeah. Oh, booted up my mind, boy. Like, <laughs> rapping, rapping past the beat and shit. Yeah, on the radar, they got some. They got some cool shit. Around. They got a lot of people I haven't heard of. They're, yeah. they're, um, they're, they're putting a lot of people on that. Just like kind of legends and shit. Like they're yeah. key. Yeah, I was right. actually surprised because their key freestyle to me is like crazy. I, I don't, I don't, I don't listen to it like, shit like twenty times. Yeah. But it only has like twelve hundred views. Right. I was like, yo, how is this? I don't really get it. I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. But that, we have, yeah, have like fifty some thousand subscribers though. Right. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Shout out Keita. You talking about take the charge? Yeah. Is that is that your first? Well, matter of fact, before we even get to take the charge, I did want to kind of start because it's funny we got DJ Sweet Dog in the building. Sweet he was up. like, "Bro, ask him about Just Leak." Ah! Well, who is Just Leak? Yeah. I know you did a lot of shit hosted by uh, DJ Sweet Dog in those times. Yeah, man, Just though, man. That's how I came into this shit. That's like that was like my first official like rap name. Like when I first started taking music series. I was like 15 years old. I just ran with that. It was just play off my um my first name and shit. So yeah, I was just leap, bro. I'm, yeah, I ain't been him. I've been him with for not even a year. Like I just changed my shit like officially to him with like December. Really? So yeah. she was just leap this whole time. Just leap, man. 
So where the fuck, where the fuck are you from, bro? And how you even? Good, bro. Was telling me like he, you, like you really been around, just tapped in with the seven five seven for a while. For sure. Like, so how do you even Shout get connected with this seven five man? Yeah, I, I used to just be out here all the time. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like my my folks, we some traveling motherfuckers, man. And we used to just be out here all the time. Like, I mean, of course, for like shit, like July the fourth, like come see fireworks, all that shit when I was a kid. But like, from where though? Like, where are you from? North Carolina. I'm from oh, North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. yeah. And um. In a part of North Carolina I'm from, it's closer to here, like uh, Charlotte and all that shit. That's like, eight, you know what I mean? Eight hours. Like, we on the coast. Like, I'm I'm near, like, I'm from Little Washington, but my grandma and them, they stay, like, out of Banks area. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Chesapeake and all that shit, it's, like, right there. You know what I'm saying? So, we would come over here more than we would go on the other side. And I just, I don't know. When I first started, coming, like, getting older, coming out here, I was just, like, I fucked with the vibe and shit. And I seen, like, niggas was on some different shit. Cause I fuck with it back home and, and shit like that, but like me and like folks like my my sister and like folks I was cool with, it was just it was like I don't know, we was the rare ones, and motherfuckers knew it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. Was it like more uh, small town vibes? Yeah, it's there? definitely small town vibes. Like like you on anything different? Like we gonna stand out? Cause niggas like the fuck is that? Like what you you know what I mean? Like. Everybody on the same shit, basically. Yeah, so you said you were just leak at 15. Yeah, man. How the fuck you even, um, yeah, how you even get into making music? I've been doing that shit forever, bro. Like, I met this nigga, bro, shot my nigga Apprentice. It's like my brother, bro. I met him in like third grade, and uh, he was already on that shit. Like, he was just like, I don't know, bro. He's, that nigga was like ahead of his time. Yeah, he's like ahead of his time, bro. He was already on that shit, like, we kids, and he just like rapping all the time. And then once we got cool, he'll call me like every other day and just be like, "Bro, rap, rap some shit, rap some shit." Like even when I was like not even on it like that, he just nigga didn't rap. So like I'm talking about from third grade up until like yeah, forever. Like yeah. So you coming? Okay, so you started out there in North Carolina. Yep. What part of North Carolina? What'd you say? Little Washington. Little Washington. Hell up. I'm not even hip. Too fat, man. Is there um is there a scene out there? Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, Eastern North Carolina is no scene for real, for real. I mean, you got. I know we, I know Bamboy from out there. Bamboy, you know Bamboy. Bamboy for sure. Yeah, he from North yeah. Carolina. I don't know where. I think I want to say uh, Elizabeth City actually. Yeah, he from the two five. So he yeah yeah you know, like you got to go to like Raleigh Durham and even they scene is still like it, it's still developing. It, even after all this time, like it, it's really no scene. Like, you got to go to Charlotte. Winston Salem and shit like that. They they got more of a scene, and even it, even their scene is like still very fresh. You know what I'm saying? Because folks just been, folks just be doing that. They own shit, and I'm just like finding out about like these scenes too. Because I ain't from over there, so you know what I mean. Like I say that, but I really don't know what the the folks got going on like that. I just know who I know from out there. Uh, coming yeah. from a scene like where you're from, how do you look at our scene here in the seven five seven? It's going. That's what like that's what that, I mean. That's another thing that kept me out here too. Like I mean, you know what I mean. Y'all got shit going. Like because because people because a lot of people from here want to say like they're saying they want to move other places, but you came you came here. You going? Yeah. You feel me? Like oh, I was man. fucking with it. Yeah, I was yeah. fucking with it. It was just like like it was just I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know. Like my it was my intro to like what a scene looked like. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. before I started going to places like Atlanta and. I stayed in, uh, like, Maryland for a little bit, like, PG County for a little bit, because that's where my pops was at. Um, yeah, but before I started going out in places, I would go out here. So, like, this is my first intro to what, like, a scene actually looked like. Like, like these folks doing this over here, these folks doing like You know what I mean? Like, I thought that shit was cool as fuck. Coming from where I'm from in North Carolina. Like, yeah. I think... Oh, you go ahead. No, nah, I was just going to say, because it was, like, a little bit going on, like, when I first started making music. Like... Like I was I was linked up with these um we won't really know a group or nothing but it was like these older niggas and shit because I was still in high school but um they would give me like little shows like um it was it's some shit in Greenville Greenville North Carolina it's no longer there but it was a spot called Tipsy Teapot and they would like do Tipsy like show Teapot. shows there and shit like locals and shit like that and that was like my first you know what I'm saying first time seeing like folks do like aside from open mics and shit because I would always hear about that like aside from that. Like, that's the only thing that was going, but it wasn't really much to it. So that was, like, the first shows you did? These yeah. people was putting you on these shows? Yeah. I think the show, I think where we met at was at the Always Always show. Mm-hmm. 
um, when ASAP Ant came through, you was out there with Zero. How you how you get linked up with Zero and then? always always. Now, that, that shit just happened. It just happened organically, man. I was just out here. Folks told me pull up on them, and they just show me love. Oh, so y'all had met that night? Yeah, type shit. That was That's like crazy. our first time. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Intro- I think he introduced Shout us, but the way he introduced us, like I thought he y'all like had been friends for a while. Bro, you would have thought. I'm talking yeah. about yeah, how niggas carried it the whole night, man. Shout out, shout out them guys. Bro, Zero and Just Leak. Yes, they were definitely on the same bill. Oh, like back which, in the day. Which show was this? Fuck it up Fridays. Mm. Is that Chrissy shit? Graffiti Studio. Graffiti. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. That's why I really be forgetting how it's happening, bro. It's too swing, like. <laughs> Come on. No, it's 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 crazy to me too how um. Like being from around here, we can we can kind of compare ourselves to other places like Atlanta and shit. And you know we have uh, growth to do still. Mm-hmm. But when you look at when you really put it in perspective, there's even smaller towns like where he's from and where there really is no scene. Like we have a like, we have a spark here. Yeah. Now it's up to us to keep you know what I'm saying putting gas on the fire, make it bigger or whatever. Oh but oh God, bro, like because I feel like even when when they get when my side of North Carolina get like how y'all is, like, it's going to be something special. Like, it's going to make motherfuckers move more. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Folks just be winging it. Like, they don't know what to do back home. Like, they don't know. I mean, we winging it everywhere, bro. Yeah. It's really no formula with this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it may be, like, the one of the only industries where you can't really... It's hard to really plan it out because it, it, it has a certain level of luck to it. Mm-hmm. It has like a certain level of just, I think, I believe fate, destiny mm-hmm. plays into it. Like, 100%. I don't know. I feel that. Uh, how you look at um? How you look at this show right now? Just where you are, where you, how, where you know what I'm saying, where hey, you came man. from, like. I mean, cause I've been getting this question so much, bro. Like, I can't even process it, like, cause it's you know what I mean. It's happening and shit like happening so fast. And I just been, I don't know. And yeah, bro, it's a lot. Like, <laughs> and I, I ain't processed it all. <laughs> like, yeah. I ain't processed it all. I just been living. Swear to God. But like, when I take time out, like time to myself, that shit do be crazy, y'all. It do be crazy. Especially like like the whole transition from Just Leak to Henward. Like just how I came up, I mean, went about it. Like when I was like, yeah, I'm finna change it to him. It was like I literally spoke this shit into existence. I know like. Like nah, but the way it happened, how'd it happen? It was really that. Uh, I was on it every day. I probably aggravated anybody that was talking to me around December, January. I probably got on their fucking nerves every day. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm about to do it this time. Everything I put out, like, like just in real life or like you, online too. Like, it, like whoever talked to me on yeah. the phone, online, like in person, like every day I was just saying that shit and on it. And take the charge was the first thing I recorded when I after I changed. Um, my name is Henry. That's the first song. Is that your biggest song to date? I would say. I would say. And that's the first thing you drop as the as the new name as uh-huh. Henry. So was that like recorded? The first thing you recorded too uh-huh. was that. So was that like a sign? Okay, we moving in the right direction. You like, feel me? Yeah. yeah, it was exactly that. It was exactly that, bro. Yeah. M. <laughs> <laughs> Real oh, man. man. So when okay, so you coming to. The 757 from North Carolina, you traveling yeah. around shit. Motherfuckers putting you on these shows early on. Uh-huh. What was kind of from like from there? Um, up and down, for real. Like, anything else, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it'd be times where I'm feeling like, man, shit ain't taking off how it is. And, like, it'd be times where I'm not, I probably wasn't real, well, not even probably, I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing and still feeling like, nah, bro, I'm supposed to be further. So, you know, just going through the trial and error phase. And, um, fucking... Taking hiatuses, like trying really trying to figure the shit out. But it got to a point where I was I felt like I was taking shit too serious too. And not having fun with it no more. And that like mm-hmm. really like that really played like you know what I'm saying, played a big part in um, It's like that's what we're doing this shit for. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Oh, we, well, look at it clear. We need money too. We trying to get, get money too, but exactly. it's fine though. Exactly. But you gotta get yeah, you gotta get back to that. Like in order to like really well, for me, in my experience anyway, like, I had to get back to that to, like, really, like, like tap into this shit. Like, I really, I had to get, I had to have fun again, bro. 
Touch on that too, like taking yourself. You said you were taking yourself too serious. Whatever you felt like. Yeah, like I, I feel like I was thinking like when I started this shit, it was solely off of like just having fun. Like I said, like I said, bro, I've been doing shit since like third grade. Like you know, what I'm saying as a kid, you ain't you you know, nigga want to blow up and shit, but like you really. Where I'm from, like we nigga, we had Petey Pablo, like you know what I'm saying. We want a whole bunch of motherfucking rappers, like to look at, like oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I could be there. So you, I'm not thinking start, starting off. I'm not thinking about like oh I need to make a hit or I need to this. I'm just winging it. I'm having fun. I'm experimenting and shit, like just having fun, bro. But it got to a point where I was like really on it, like yo, I need to like what is people listening to and all that. And you know that's cool. You gotta know your audience, but bro, like you gotta know you too, like what. You know what I'm saying? What is you giving these folks? Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So on one of these hiatuses that you took, that's where you was, like, thinking about the name change? Yeah, for sure, because uh, what when I came up with that shit, it was around COVID. So you already know, like, that in itself, that shit was a... Everybody was... In oh, so you came up with this shit, like, three, four years ago, because COVID was... You feel me? But you just came out, like, a year ago as him. Yeah, with. like... So you were thinking about it for a while. Oh, God. Oh, God, yeah. It was, yeah, it definitely was like the beginning of COVID when I made that shit. That's <coughs> like three years. Yeah. yeah, but I think um, staying um, for me, it's it's the fun. So it's fun to me too, mm-hmm. but it's also like um, it's like the it's 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 it's, a, it's like a wonder to me. It's a feeling of wonder. Yeah. It's like when, cause it's like you have a. You uh- can, I think you don't wear your shirt. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's like, um, cause like you know, you can have a nine to five job, and you can and you right. can know, okay, for the next, I'm an electrician. So it's like, if I stay an electrician for the next whatever rest of my life, I know what I'm gonna be doing. Mm-hmm. I'll be wiring houses. I know how to do it. I'm gonna be doing that same shit, and I know what to expect, yeah. right, from my job. But now it's like, I want my career to be something where it can be kind of like more possibilities. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know where this could take me. And that's part of the fun. That's that's a risk. Yeah. And one hand, it's a risk because it, it's like I said on I said on the song before too. Like like uh, it could fall through. Yeah. I'll take the chance. Right. You feel me? Like so that's part of it. Like that risk is like I think I like taking risks. I'm that type of person. So that's part. Yeah. That's that's what's fun to me too about the shit. Like nah, that's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Hell yeah. Um. Hell yeah. I'm about to let that breathe for a sec. Um. Message. Message. <laughs> your videos are crazy too. Who does your videos? Uh, right now, right now I've been working with um well the take the charge. That was like the first, like the first shit for real. And that was um Bosch. He did he did a lot of um Tia Tia Karen's early um music videos, like most of mm. the early videos. And um <laughs> you got my bro. Boy <laughs> <Bates> Jesus. <laughs> my boy Bates Jesus. But right now I've been working um with my boy Twenty out of New York and shit. Shout out Twenty. Mm. He been doing my shits. Hell, it's yeah. crazy. I really found out about Tia Corinne when she came out here. Mm-hmm. She had went to the Disc Freak that was out here. Yeah, and literally, that's like a night I found out about her. But then, like after that, she had blew the fuck up. Like literally after yeah. that, I started seeing her everywhere. Yeah, Tia been doing this shit. Who was the girl too? They were telling me about a girl named Veda. Veda. They, they say you did. We listened to a song I did earlier too. They were telling me to tap in with her. Yeah, Veda's fire. Touch on working with her. Veda's a, Veda's like, a, like where's she from? Uh, she um she from Atlanta, I believe. Yeah, she uh, from Atlanta. Yeah. What y'all linked up or you fucking y'all just like sent sent the song over? Just sent the song over, uh, but we we linked after that. Like she had a uh, she had a show and she you know what I'm saying just told me pull up and um perform our song. My show was fire, and we don't we didn't link since then. No, nah, that she cool, she cool, she uh, fire. We were touching on your um sister that's in Atlanta. I think I seen you guys. Y'all were both in like the um was it ID magazine? Yeah. And that, I think that's a Vice thing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because I saw it on your page, but I tried to go find it on the internet, but yep. I, I couldn't find the actual, like, write-up. Yeah. It, Is yeah. that out still? Yeah, it's definitely still out. Hell yeah. I, I, I got to get the physical copy, but yeah, it's still out. Um, you guys probably searched, like, Tyler Mitchell. Mm. Yeah. So that was a physical thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was fire, bro. What was that like? Fire. So you in, like, in the fashion world, too? Is that more like your sister's thing? Yeah, you were just was, helping her out? or like? Oh, God, bro, yeah. I promise you, she put me on the, all that shit, like, even, like, early into making music, like... Um, like under the Just League brand and shit like that, she really like helped me turn it up just by like, like putting a spotlight on that. Like, bro, you can model, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me take your pictures because she won't even really on the internet like that. But she seen like uh, how serious I was about making the music and seen like folks was really tapping in off of that. Like, yo, you can really do something with this. But um, I was I wasn't really like aesthetics and all that shit. I wasn't really on that. I was just focused on the music part but she was like yeah i'm gonna have to take your picture like help you with your image and shit like so that. did she design those clothes that were in there 
Which, which were that were those her clothes? Uh, like you had the fur coat on and the... oh no, uh, not in the okay. um, ID nine nine nine. Okay. Yeah. We was looking what? Y'all were looking hot and tired. Hot and tired. Hot and tired. You know what you're talking about? The ID magazine shit? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, it was raining, bro. No, bro, it was daytime. Y'all were sweaty, bro. It, it was raining. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I had, my, I had my shirt off. It was raining, gang. I'm telling you. He said it was yeah, daytime, bro. It, yeah, it was raining. That's my word. It started raining as soon as niggas started taking pictures. Like, as soon as, soon as they was like, all right, it's time to take pictures. It was raining. It started going. But it was hot as fuck before it started. So you about to be dabbling more into, into the fashion world, modeling or what? Yeah, but I'm 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 here for it. Like I'm I definitely oh, I definitely want to. Ah man, I'm 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 cooling right now, man. Word, bro. You better tell them niggas what's happening. Tell him. Do yours on? No. It's laundry day. But it, it's it's the it's the this the homie brand. I, this the homie brand. Who yeah? Who's who's your homie? I think I just met the homie too. Like, like it's it's called I think it's, I believe it's called Noor. If I'm getting it wrong, I'm sorry. But shout out to the homie. I just met that nigga like before I left church. Black tea from the forest though. Black 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 tea. <laughs> true religion from the, from. Nah, I'm about to say that's not that's not a that's not a regular black tea. That's not a regular black tea. <laughs> I am honest, I don't remember the last time I seen somebody wear true religion. You might bring yeah, it back. You yeah, might man, be bringing it back. You can, true could that never die. That was a high school shit. True was, could never die, man. I'm be honest, I never had any true religion, but I know that was like, when I was in high school, it was going crazy. I remember I used to. Because it was expensive at the time. We were buying, yeah. see, the type of jeans we were getting, we were, might go to the uh, Zoomies, get like two for 65. I feel you. The true religion was different. It was a little out of my I'm budget. take me to the flea market. I was getting, the, I was getting the fake shoes. Can we do a pod? Style me? I'm really on my Steve job shit. I wear kind of like the same shit every day, for real. Like, you gonna put it on the Encore podcast, styling me for over, come on. for under. If that's the work, if that if that's the work fit, you putting that shit on there. Well, I usually have a black tee on. I, like literally, I want I want to blow up and be like Steve Jobs and wear just wear a black tee every day, and literally like 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 a little plain flannel like this. That's that's my idea of it. I wish you, bro. You know what's crazy too though? Now that I'm thinking of like um what that really does is uh me actually me and my boy uh. Miles' his name is produced by Turtle. He lives in LA. We yeah. did a pilot like two years ago. He's hard, but um, he's a videographer. But um, he was telling me like that was the appeal of Wiz Khalifa, and I never, I never really thought about it like that because like every kid, like Wiz, never really dressed too fancy. Uh-uh. It was like camo shorts, white tee chucks. But it was like as a kid, you felt like you could easily be Wiz. Right. Like you didn't have to go buy these clothes that were worth thousands of dollars or well, you know what I'm saying. Like, That's a fact. So it was like more relatable. Right. Um. So I like I like that aspect of it. Yeah, you really put that shit in perspective for real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like? How do you like? Um, yeah, how you look at uh, like, at just influence? Um, like rappers' influences on society, on the youth, on like, do you, do you even think about that? Do you care about that? Like, in what in what way though? Where you can make a song and it can influence the youth to oh, actually yeah, yeah. think a certain way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's Definitely. a that's a that's a huge power. Like government yeah, yeah. governments yeah. and countries, yeah. they kill for that power. Right, right, right. And rappers get high and just don't give a fuck about it, and you and just use it carelessly. Now you're right. And, and that's you a right. that's a real thing. And you're like, right. No, you know I, like, I, I honestly do think about it though, because like you know what I'm saying, like like the whole process of make it, making music, like it's, this shit's just so random. Like, you you know what I'm saying? It's just about how you feel in that moment. And like, but later, later, like I think about like this, you know what I mean? This shit I say, like how, it, cause you see the, you see the effect. Like you see the effect when like folks come up to you. I feel like you getting to that point then, that's when it really come into play. Like, cause you can see it on the outside looking in like other artists and shit like that. Like, but like when it's you, like when you see like motherfuckers doing shit because of, of you. Some shit you said or some shit you did, like it really hit. Like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what like, I'm putting out there to the world. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, imagine being a rapper and you drop a song that's about whatever, like killing somebody or something, and then like you see a little kid, you see a video of a little kid kill another kid, listen to your song or something. Like, King Von. Damn, that's like what? Hey. <laughs> huh? It just playing in the background. Like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, bro. I don't fucking know. He said, well, the scenario, like, paint the picture. I don't know. 
<laughs> but I think it's like you said earlier. It's, I think um, you go through this shit. Everything starts kind of happening, and then as you grow, go uh, get more successful, yeah. a lot of things. I th- I think it's weird too. Just when the external world starts matching your energy, because yeah. for me, I just like for me personally, like I've been creating whatever for like five, six, seven years, right? Whatever, longer than that, really. But and like inside, internally, I always believed I had it, yeah. but like nobody else did. Right. So now it's like it, even like whatever the few people that do, when people start believing in you, sometimes I kind of know how to take that. Yeah. How do you look at just getting more success? people fucking with you like how does how do you look at that and does that develop or does that affect your creative process I, I really try not to think about it much for that for that reason though for real though because i feel like what what helped me even get to this point is blacking that out for real like that because that would get in the way before too like like i said like looking at shit like damn i feel like i'm supposed to be here or whatever, whatever. instead of just you know working like like really you know what i'm saying Mastering my craft, like really doing what I'm supposed to be doing, like you know, like not looking for the validation. Cause motherfucker, when you really, I feel like when you truly fuck with yourself, it show. Like when you truly fuck with what you doing, it show. And people, people can get behind that. Like when it's, you know, what I'm saying, like when they, when they fuck with it, like I feel like folks get behind it. So yeah, I, I try not to think about it, bro. Like of course, like it, it, it's fresh and it's happening more and more. So it'd be like, you know, it kind of be like, but. I try not to think about that shit. Because, you know, it, it come with it come with the territory. You touching on the music, the fashion. You have any ideas to get any any other spaces? Like I like to draw. I wanna get mm. I wanna I wanna I wanna do some shit with adult swim or do my own shit. I fuck with I'm on some shit like that. So you see we got the I don't know if you know who Larry is or a street journalist. Yeah. We wanna have some type of that's hard. animated show or something one day with him. That's hard, bro. Yeah, I want to get I want to get into that. I I I be saying I want to get into like film and shit too. That'd be cool. Like even even whether it's acting or like I don't know writing some shit or like helping with some shit. Yeah. Me and my me and my sister be on that like <coughs> talking about like making shows and shit. You know, or or the um I ain't gonna lie um I seen this girl one time draw like the girls from the uh, the Grand Theft Auto. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the strippers? Bu- the booklets. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you saying yeah? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Smoking shit in here. Come so. with me. Yeah. All right, but you, so, so you got this photo shoot. Did you, did you look at it? Did you see? Um, yeah, man. I, mean, I, I still ain't see the brand, but shout out to my boy Cash Really Geeking, for real. Okay. My fault, bro. You good, you I'm good. I'm on shrooms. <laughs> Are you on shrooms right now? I'm on shrooms right now. Really? That's fire. <laughs> You know, it's funny. Every time I ever did, like, any, like, like, I've did it with people, but I really, I like doing being by myself when I do that shit. I feel you. And most of the time, that's that's what I prefer, but, you know. I kind of, damn. So, I'm, I give you props for even coming on a damn podcast yeah, yeah, on shrooms. You got to challenge yourself. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I appreciate you coming through. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? It's a pleasure, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like I said, I, pre- I appreciate it, bro. We appreciate you guys tuning in. It's crazy. Um, It's really like kind of feels like in sync to me because yeah. you had just did the on the radar shit. Yeah. And I literally like we just did a, a pod with RXK yeah. and then he did the on the radar shit like the week after that. So it's like we have two guests like in the same month yeah. that are like whatever the same guests that they had. Yeah. Um, so it just feels like one of those things. Like sometimes I just be looking at shit as like a sign. No, I feel it. It just lets me know that I'm on a. Um, pay attention to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out RSK. Hell yeah, hell yeah. We thank you guys for uh, tuning in. All bros links will be in the description. Um, yeah, we're gonna see y'all soon. Peace.